The History and Significance of the Balmoral Ball United Kingdom, August 17, 2023, this year marks an important milestone for the British royal family, they are set to hold the first Balmoral Summer Ball without the late Queen. This century-old ball, which brings together royalty and staff in one venue, is a long-lived tradition that began way back in 1852. Let's explore the history and significance of this important event together. The Beginning of the Tradition In 1852, Prince Albert purchased an estate in Aberdeenshire for Queen Victoria, and as a gesture of appreciation to the staff for their dedication and hard work, the couple hosted a ball. Since then, the tradition has not been broken, and each year the summer ball is a moment for the royal family and staff to celebrate the end of the season together. The Gillies Ball is an event that brings both royalty and staff together in unison. On this day everyone is on equal footing, the royal family, tenants, servants, even the queen herself takes part in traditional Scottish and Highland dancing. It's a unique opportunity for everyone to get to know each other better, socialize and take a break from royal duties. Queen Elizabeth II always treated the Balmoral Ball with special warmth and attention. She herself was actively involved in the event for many years and continued to plan the ball even in the last years of her life. Queen Elizabeth had a heartfelt attachment to this tradition and saw it as an opportunity for everyone, herself, her family and staff, to have fun in an informal setting. With this year comes a new era for the Balmoral Ball. The first ball without the Queen marks the beginning of a new chapter in the event's history. King Charles III is going to uphold the tradition by continuing the traditional British dancing and merriment that was so dear to his late mother. The Balmoral Summer Ball is more than just a regular event for the royal family and staff. It is a symbol of unity, tradition and an opportunity to distance oneself from royal duties in an informal setting. The first ball without the Queen means a new beginning, a new era for this long-lived tradition that King Charles III intends to continue honoring his late mother's memory and keeping the spirit of Balmoral evenings alive.